Hello everyone, so I've just got my latest Your Creative Studio box out of the mailbox and I'm super excited to see what's in store for this month. I believe this is the January box. I see some postage on here, vintage looking postage and ooh, look at that and animals. Oh, I love animals. Oh, what a cute little squirrel. So maybe it's postage theme. Who knows? We always, we often, I shouldn't say always, we often get postage stamp like stickers and things, but I happen to love that theme. And so I don't mind collecting a few. Ooh, everything's really cold. We're having a bit of, of a cold snap here. And yeah, oh, look at this washi. This is so cool. I'm um, gonna see if that'll focus. That I'm gonna have to get open, but we'll just have a little brief look there and then I will open it. Okay, so I'm having some trouble here. Um, there's like at the very beginning, but it's got like a backer paper. So I'm not gonna mess with that right now because I wanna see what this looks like. Maybe I'm not even supposed to take the backer paper off. I'm not sure. But, let's just get a swatch of it down here. So you can kind of see where this backer paper is sticking. And I can try to get that off. It's super sticky there. Um, but maybe that's just, you know, it's a good thing that's my example part because that's not on a journal. I think that's focused, yes. And then you can see the beautiful different postage marks and stamps. Okay, what next? Should we look at stamps? Oh, I just can't resist. Okay, let's look at those stamps. In this package, we have two. These are great because you can just use them over and over and they're great for just adding a little bit of interest on it. So this one, Looks like a lady. Then we have Carreos Mexico. And I think it's Cuatro Centavos. Uh, I'm going to stamp those out in a moment here. What's in package number two? A couple more stamps. <laughs> Postage stamps. Here's one with looks like a blimp and some landscape. Then we have a hand with a letter. Finally, what is in the third packet? Oh, so some of these are all pretty similar, but they're all different as well. There's roses on this one, I like that. And then another little hand that says four, please handle carefully. So you can add a little label there. So let's go ahead and stamp these out to see what they look like up close. All right, here are the rubber stamps stamped out. We have a lady, then we have a Correos Mexico, cuatro centavos, like a blimp here. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Some, maybe some Cyrillic letters, not sure. Lovely bouquet of roses, three cents. Then they hand, please handle carefully a little hand pointing with a four. And finally, we have the hand holding a letter. And let's see what's in here. I'm gonna guess more postage stamp type stickers, but it's really stuffed in there. Ah, ooh, Giza Pyramids, Republic of Egypt, Holland. So this is probably like all around the world. Wouldn't that be a fun uh, journal page theme all around the world and just put little ephemera or things, stickers. Ooh, love the kangaroo, Aust Australia, from all the different parts. Is this Russia? Not sure. Um, North Carolina and the Kitty Hawk, cute. Republic of the Union of Myanmar, India with the Taj Mahal, Melbourne, I mean, Melbourne, how do you say, okay, I can't say it, you know, uh, not sure what that is, but it's cute, this one, Austria, so is Vien Vienna, 
Austria, maybe. Here's the Eiffel Tower, Republic of Singapore, Czech Republic, ooh, Alaska, and we have a moose. He's cute. My sister loves moose. I might have to stick that to something I send her. Espana, we have Spain, the Arab Republic of Egypt with a camel, Bremen, Deutschland, uh, not, I don't know what that is, but can anyone read that one? <laughs> Out of my area of knowledge. And then we have the Tower of Pisa, the Torre de Pisa. Wait a minute! What? Does anyone else catch the problem there? It's not in France! <laughs> but that's kind of funny. Um, that was a mistake. There is no tower or Torre de Pisa in France. I, I've been to the t tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It is in Pisa, Italy. <laughs> L'Arc de Triomphe de l'Etoile. This one's in France. That's funny. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. Whoops, I love peacocks. And this one is the Republic of India here. Are they all, now I'm like wondering, are they all called the ones that they called Republic of? Anybody else spot any errors in this sticker packet? That's funny. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have some paper ephemera. Oh, this is cute. And you know how I love to use the packaging. Look at this cute little envelope. Everything I could never tell you. Hmm, in a letter. Intriguing. So I would like to stick that. It's so cute. It's just like a little picture of an envelope, but I like how they use packaging that you can reuse. And then you have a very similar piece here. It's cut off a little bit um, with the message, but you know, if it's background, collage fodder, that doesn't really matter. Here's the everything I could never tell you. Huh. And then we have a variety of postcard type, nice and lightweight papers that are great for collaging and putting in backgrounds. Ooh, I like this little uh, border here. It almost looks silvery, but it's not metallic, but kind of has that effect, like a moth on there. Ooh, look at that. You know my favorite butterflies, and I do like those polka dots there. This, I really like the combination of the vintage coloring and that little pop of reddish color, too. That's... That's one of my favorites in this paper pack. And then we have lovely um, vintage image there and some square shaped ones. These ones are pretty feeling pretty smooth, but they're also really cold from being just out in the mailbox for a short amount of time. Nice bright color. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. If you want to keep this in with holiday stuff and winter themed stuff, but I, I don't know if I should pull it aside or not. Um, okay, so. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's more stamps. Are you kidding me? They did it again. Tricked me. So, before we go any further, this is quite the stamp full box here. We have a little clear stamp set. These look different than we've had in the past. I don't know if it's just that pinkish hue or what, but it'll be interesting to see. So we have a postage mark here, postcard. I have a very old Stampin' Up! Um, stamp set that has a little mark like this, or a stamp like this, that you can easily make your own postcards with, and that's a fun thing to do for ephemera, for a journal, is just make it look like a postcard. Um, so all you need is like that little stamp and some postmark. Oh, and then this is part of it too, You for address only, for correspondence, so you could put like that where you would have the, I'm trying to think, do I have a postcard handy? Yes, I do. Well, this one doesn't have the marks that you would have on it. Darn! But you know what a postcard looks like, right? <laughs> so, yeah. And then here's the another little canceled stamp mark, paid postage. This is a cool one, like a little, just a little background one. You could, I, I want to try to see if I can make it a bigger background, if it lines up all right or if it's really noticeable. It looks like it could be something where you could easily make it on a bigger size, so we'll have to check that out. And then this would be where you put, uh, you stamp it for the postage area, so that's cool. And we have all the stamps you need to make a little postcard. We have a postcard stamp here. We have... Postal service mark, this place, the stamp to place for where you put the postage stamp. 
the for address only for correspondence thing. We have this little uh, canceled stamp mark, a paid. Then we have a postage stamp and this beautiful background of postage cancel marks or stamp. I don't know what they're called. Let's see what we have here. It's like a little booklet or something. I like this blue color and ah, yeah, that's an interesting. So it opens up. It's just to protect the papers inside. But again, you can use these kind of things in your journal, like, you know, as inspiration. Oh, look at that. It could be a little pocket you stick inside the journal and you close these sides up here and you can have it open that way or you can have it stick it on the side maybe tape it in you can tape it in here lots of different ways to use that and then we just have some more background type papers correspondence letters do I have this upside down I'm not sure that one's definitely upside maybe they are some of them are upside down Ooh, I love I'm loving these blues that are mixed in though I really like that color and then you have a variety of tones in the neutrals some darker ones that look a little more aged and and then you have some lighter ones like that lots of those let's set those over here out of the way um let's save this for um no should I go in here uh, I'm so indecisive sometimes let's look at the back of it this looks like an ephemera pack it's got looks like a variety of things in here um, how do we open this? There we go. And we have a package and a package here. Hmm, that's interesting. But of course there's more of this twine that I can reuse. I wonder if I can get it off without untying it, sort of. And a beautiful little doily. I have a ton of these, but I just really like the packaging here, you know, where you have parts that you can reuse and then there's some attention to that. That is it's nice and I like to use these as bag toppers on packaging and then this is perfect for the side of a journal I do like to do that sometimes too so if I had a journal page I'll just pretend this little collection of them and I will glue it just along this part so that um, you can still tuck things under but if I feel like it's too frail I might glue the whole thing it just depends and then you have a little focal point here and so if you had a favorite little flower or anything you could just stick it right there and again the same can be done at the top of your journal page as well as a lovely little accent so I like using the doilies in journals in that way I don't think I'm gonna well, this is a nice bag. I might save it to use as a bag, but it's kind of plasticky, so I don't think I'd use it in a journal. Not, It's not like the glassine type ones. But uh, let's see what we have here. Stickers. So these look like washi stickers. Cute. I like the cat and the doll. Yeah, that's a washi sticker there. And so it's got like an acetate backer. Things are going to get lost in here. There's some more. Let's just flick through these. I think I have some of them upside down because the clear shiny side is back. And the, uh, whoa, <laughs> that's great for like October, Halloween type, or maybe steampunk, I don't know. I don't know that I have a lot of use for that. Poison, oh, maybe I'll stick it on some of my toxic watercolors. <laughs> yep, cool house, or not house, looks like maybe shopping area. Where's my other one of this? It must be in here somewhere. Oh boy, an Audi and some more upside down ones. Ooh, I like that one. And we have Gas's Drugstore, Blue Vitriol Poison Caution, Poison minus the O. There's the poison theme section. And something got stuck here, but she's cute, contemplative young lady there. There's my other little poison sticker. <laughs> Interesting. But you know, they're vintage, right? So that's a beautiful architecture there. Cafe, chocolat, pâte de syrup. Mmm, yum. And there's my other sticker. I really like this. Um, let me grab my white paper. I like this 
pretty rose part at the top. And what's this? Looks like maybe phases of the moon or something on that one. This got a little bent, but that's okay. Nice. Ooh, look at the beautiful roses on that. So, so we have some long strips of paper also. These are fun just to put on the side of a journal page, you know. Or if you have a traveler size notebook, it makes a nice um, way to decorate a more plain page. Some French text here. And then, hmm, what that looks like the beginning of a title page or something. A little snippet there. We have some circular ones. Looks like the Arc de Triomphe again. And ooh, some tag shaped ones. But these are paperweight, so maybe better for collage. If you want it to be thicker, you can always put it on any kind of piece of packaging. Um, a lot of those. This has a ton of stuff in it. Sunshine Alone Dry Sun Made Raisins. A little vintage advertisement for raisins. Throwing things around here. I like the colors on that one. So some square shaped ones. More tires. These are great for those masculine themes. Uh, there we go. And what's this? Is this paper? Hmm. What is? Oh no, no, it's not just paper. It is a sticker sheet. Okay. So these are cool. I we've had some of these bigger sticker sheet pieces. Um, there's several of them. Look at that. I would. Maybe fussy cut out the little details and use them as sticker. And then we have, these are nice, I like that. Um, what's this one? Ooh, cute little envelopes. This one I might cut out, like, if I wanted it to look like a postage stamp, I have uh, scissors around here. If I can get them. hard to get at. I used to have one that was fist scars, I think, and it was a postage, but this is a Provograph one, but it just cuts. Let me just show you that shape. And I love it for making little postage stamp edges. So if I wanted to turn any of these into postage stamp stickers, I can, or just to give it that border, that look, that's a fun thing to do. There's a nice architecture one. We got map. Ooh, postal, postal. More architecture of St. Paul's Cathedral in London. This is a nice little scene. And, ooh, liking all oh, this. I love this. The color with the, like, water ble bleeding look. <laughs> I like that. It's beautiful, colorful. I made a big mess here, so this is this was all part of one little package. Let's set it over here. I don't know how I'm going to put it all back together. Okay, there was a ton in that one. Fun. And then we get to the more themed from the box items. So this is the one that really strikes me. These are like clear, but colored. They're not the black and white that we often get. Look at that cool castle. It looks like from a fairy tale. And then we have a lovely rose. And then I'm not sure what the scene is down here, but it's really pretty too. So we have three, four, five, six, seven different, or seven stamps with three different designs. Stamp stickers, what am I saying? And this, ooh, interesting, is that one that's kind of die cut. Let me see if I can get the edge off here, the negative space to see what we have. Sometimes they're not always cut out all the way. Uh, no, you don't want to stay, do you? This one's not coming off. Okay, I got most of them. I want that to come off of there. One of them refuses to come off. I'm going to pull it. There we go. And actually, I don't want to... I don't want to lose this completely. Um, but, ah, you can kind of see the shapes that we have there. It's got lovely texture to it. So these are just a variety of kind of label shapes. And then if I set that back down, it can kind of rest. I'm not sure if I would use the negative space of this one actually. So maybe when, that one's nice there though, but I might just take it off so that I can see what I have better. Oh, what do we have here? <gasps> Rub-ons, oh cool, look at these. Okay, this might be my favorite 
item of this box, but because I'm just loving this fox and this bunny right here. I wonder if the squirrel's in there too from the the business card. Can't talk. I have enjoyed the quality of their rub-ons. I haven't let them sit for a very long time because it's been kind of a newer item. Um, but so far so good with my experience with these. Oh, there he is, the squirrel. And look at that phone. There's a nice sewing machine. I really like the colors typewriter. Oh, there's lots of my favorites here. Butterfly and the hedgehog is cute there too. So these are, they have a little bit of a, uh, an odor, but it's not too strong. Um, these are gonna be fun to use. You can put them on anything. And so I'm really glad to have those in this theme. And finally, let me zoom out a minute. Yeah, you can see this mess I made. <laughs> That one, I may be an expert at making messes. That is true, true, true. Let me get all these out, come on. Okay, I want to, to zoom out a bit so that you can see each one. Cause, well, I maybe went out a little too far. That's a little better. This is, this is the sticker paper. I was going through, you wanna hear something crazy? I was going through and doing some of my reference book from previous months, and I don't remember which month it was, but one of mine, my sticker paper was printed on the wrong side. So um, now I wanna like check and make sure it's on the sticky, so the image was on this side, and you pull it off and you just have a white, white sticker paper. Um, but these are perfect, so that's good. And it's got a cool hand there and some of these favorite images like the squirrel and this little camera. So that's one design. This is a sticker paper. I think I said that already. More of these beautiful images. Look at him. He's so cute. And we've got a variety of tones here. This more yellow. This is more like a lighter, cooler neutral. This warmer, browner neutral here. And these can be cut apart and you can just use, like if you took these scissors here, you can cut out just the pieces of them and use them all kinds of ways. Wait, did I get out of it? This is still sticker paper. Look at him right front and center. We've got some other images that can be great used for masculine things. They don't have to be, of course. I like the inkwell and the feather dip pen here. Sometimes the, I can't tell if it's the... The whole paper because it's thicker and then here's a nice real neutral one but I like that too then we have each of the designs come repeated in vellum here and then again in this art paper which has just a slight texture and it's slightly more thicker than the paper which is the last one in this pack and these are great the paper's great for collage and that sort of thing so that is this month's box. I'm loving the theme. What do you guys think? I do have a ton of things in this theme, but I really need to just get moving on making all kinds of new things with it. But I feel like this theme can last. You know, you're not going to run out of ways to use this theme. So I like that for the start of the year. I mean, using this all year long. Thanks again for watching. And as always, have a wonderful and creative day. Bye.